when we respond to emergencies, we must remember that people affected by crises have capacity and can develop their own solutions. Honest dialogue and open communication with communities can make all the difference, particularly when it comes to water, sanitation, and hygiene. This does not mean parachuting in with all the solutions, but rather taking the time to understand a community. Who are the individual community members? What are their unique needs and preferences? Communities are diverse. They come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes time is limited and it may seem far too chaotic to make space to listen to and interact with people who are affected by crisis. The pressure to provide immediate assistance is high, so it is sometimes easier to rush in, talk at people and give instructions. But listening and talking to the community is always possible, even when time is short. Opportunities to communicate and engage in honest dialogue are always there. It's just a question of seeking them out. When time is short, it may seem easier to talk to those that are visible or who come forward with ideas. But we must talk and listen to all groups, especially the more vulnerable members of a community who are often the most at risk of disease. Our job as aid workers in water sanitation and hygiene is to identify behaviors and practices that put people at risk and may increase their vulnerability to disease outbreaks. Our responsibility is to then support and help people find their own solutions. Communities do have capacity and motivation to find their own solutions and to make changes. Sometimes it may simply be that they are not aware of all the options or they have become stuck in unhelpful routines. It's not about telling people what to do and expecting magical changes. It's about understanding why they behave as they do, why they prefer certain things over others, how their culture affects their behavior. Most of all, we must remember that perfect is not possible. Lengthy and complex studies can be a waste of time, especially when community needs are urgent and need our attention. The most important thing is to be flexible, to listen, then think, then act. Don't aim for perfect, aim for good enough. Good and effective community engagement in WASH is not rocket science. Consult with communities, modify your program, and consult again. It's as easy as one, two, three.